judgment of Paris. A party is turned into a drunken riot when a trinket is thrown into the swarm of guests. It is a golden apple inscribed for the most beautiful. Athena weighs quite. Wow, if that ain't the darlingest little thing, I sure in hell don't know what is. Why well, I can't to get to little old me. Aphrodite is unimpressed. Take your hands off that. It's mine. Hera intervenes. Nine, nine, nine. He is mine, mine, mine. As handbags begin to swing violently, Zeus steps in. Oh, my glasses, will you shut your bloody noise for ten seconds? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find some wee mortal knee after the side. Who reads it? Probably going to think it's an honour or not to. They are transported to a mountainside where Paris is. Paris will choose. A scene approaches, having accidentally lost her aegis. Wow, hello there, darling. Ain't you Yes, the prettiest little old boy I ever saw. You gonna give me that there apple, sweetie? You do that. I'll make you as smart as I am, boy. Then here, similarly mysteriously unhindered by obstacles. Ah, Liebchen. So me or ya? Mine a client a shot, son. Keep so near. I'll make you such a big, powerful boy. Finally, it is Aphrodite. Ignore them, lad. One offers brain she doesn't have to give, and the other? Zeus alone knows. Zeus shakes his head and the earth trembles. Me? I'll give you the most beautiful woman in the world. The wife of Menelaus. You what, hen? You pure mental, are you? A no contest. Paris hands a prize to Aphrodite. The Abduction of Helen Paris returns to Troy, announcing his good fortune. He's much a bueno, and he's the goddess. He promised his woman to me. Al caramba, not just any woman. No, he's most beautiful woman in the world. So she married. So what? Who care? I go Sparta. I see, I charm, I take woman for me. It's good, no? Cassandra comments. I'm telling you all, don't let him go there. You'll be sorry, land in hell, fire and tears. You're gonna believe me, you all gonna. Cassandra, as always, is ignored. Harris visits Menelaus, who is suspicious but forced by code to welcome, not, however, to be friendly. What do ye want, ye wee niaf? Good weird, I'm a busy man. Why, seer, I only want your wife. He's okay with you? Yeah, we bumpers, I'm gonna batter you. 
Alan intervenes. Now, now, dear, the boy's only teasing. Can't you take a joke? No, bloody well, can he? No one more woman's in it. Alice takes Helen's hand and kisses it. So you're no like these? But you're a woman. She likes no. He then embraces her intimately, hands straying. You don't like these either. As your woman, oh your woman, she loves ye. As Aphrodite appears to make good her promise by hiding Paris and Helen in a dense mist of stage accents, they race away. Paris throws in triumph. These woman, now she is mine! And Menelaus utters a terrifying oath, demanding revenge. I'm gonna do that, wee bastard. Square go nae missing. Swayed was my kilt. I'm having that wee rage getting proper. The Madness of Odysseus Menelaus calls in the oath sworn by all Greeks to reclaim Helen from any romantic entanglement. Okay, you guys, who's up for a real good stramash? This Latino Don Juan gone off with my woman. It's no honour, tell you. Let's go do the blather scout. Reluctantly, the Greek chieftains assemble, but Odysseus is missed. Odysseus grumbles to Penelope, unaware of her presence. Lucky Menelaus! Why the hell can he not keep his woman in check? Letting some just staff the boat load a he hop or. I'm telling you. If that was my woman letting herself go like that, I'd kick her ass until next week and back again, so I would. Penelope overhears. Oh, would ya, honey? Ma, you sure do say the sweetest things. Odysseus eyes her with disgust. What do you blather in about new hen? You're going halfway on me. A thought strikes him. Aye, that's it. Menelaus will no want a loony in his army. Why, what you all saying, naughty sweet? You don't swore an oath and all. I had you a wish, woman. I'm not going to break my word. Here. I went in the bookies and put a line on the Boston Celtics to win the European Champions League. You mean soccer, honey? Why, well, that's just plum mad. Them Celtics don't play soccer. I bloody can that. Only a loony would make that bet. Me, hon, you all so smart. Tired of being basement beauties, the Boston Celtics become a soccer team, move to Dublin, and sweep all before them. Odysseus is suddenly no longer that loony who made a mad bet, but hailed as the man of many wiles. Matching the winning betting slip from Menelaus, Odysseus is revealed to be as sane as the next guy. His strategy in ruins, he joins the Greek chieftains and bids Penelope farewell. Y'all be careful, honey, now.
It will be 20 years before they see each other again.